Prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority, Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored, Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, our Lord Jesus Christ reminds us that when he is lifted up on the cross, our life will be liberated from the slavery of sin. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen please be seated a reading from the book of numbers from mount hor the children of israel 
set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Saraph serpents, which beat the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being beaten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has revealed Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Please stand. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below, I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, 
and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we see in our first reading a familiar character, the character of the serpent. When did we last see the character of the serpent? In Genesis when Adam and Eve were tricked by the serpent, the devil. In our first reading today from the book of Numbers, we see the people of Israel traveling, journeying to the Holy Land, to the Promised Land, coming from Egypt. And we see in this story, that the people of Israel were attacked by serpents. But the attack and the bite of the serpents, I think, was just a symbol of a higher attack of the serpent. The serpent, who is the master of lie, and deceit. We see in our first reading today, the people of Israel wanting to go back to Egypt. They said, we do not want to follow the Lord because He brought us in the desert. And here in the desert, we just eat bread the manna given by God. But they said, we remember in Egypt. In Egypt, they make us eat a lot of food. So, they want to go back to Egypt. I think that is the attack of the serpent. The master of lies and deceit, the serpent, want to trick them. Yes, you go back to Egypt. There is much food there. But in Egypt, you will become slaves. Kaya mag-ingat ho tayo sa mga serpent, mga ahas. Ang hilig ho mangako ng mga yan. Papangakuan ka ng lahat, pero gagawin kang alipin nila. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be careful of serpents. They are masters of lies and deceit. And they will promise you everything, provided that you remain their slaves. Instead of following the serpent and listening to the serpent, let us listen to Jesus. Jesus, who was sent by the Father to liberate us from sin, so that according to our gospel reading today, when you follow me, said Jesus, you will not die of sin. Instead, you will be liberated from sin because the Father sent me to do His will, and that is to save us from sin and to liberate us from sin. Mga minamahal na kapatid, 
kapag panahon po ng kwaresma ay pinapaalala sa atin, mag-ingat tayo sa ahas ang debonyo. Mag-ingat tayo sa kanyang pang-aakit kasi nakakaakit talaga kagaya sa unang pagbasa ang kanyang mga pangako pero kasi nungalingan lang pala ang kanyang pangako sapagkat ang kanyang pangako ay gagawin niya tayong alipin niya. Sa halip, makinig tayo kay Jesus. Si Jesus na ang pangako ay palalayain tayo sa kasalanan at bibigyan tayo ng isang mabuti at malayang buhay. Let us be careful not to listen to serpents, to their lies and deceit that make us slaves. Let us listen to Jesus lifted up on the cross so that our lives may be liberated from the slavery of sin. Amen. Please stand. In faith, let us pray to the Father who, through the sufferings of His Son, has saved us from all condemnation. For every petition, let us say, Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus that God's people may succeed in spreading the good news of salvation to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus, that a growing number of people may accept Jesus as their Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus, that those who are earnestly searching for the truth may find Jesus, who is the light, shining in the darkness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus, that those who are suffering from pain, anxiety, fear, and loneliness may see the light of Christ shining over them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus, we pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus, that perpetual light may shine upon the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, bless, bless us in, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Father in heaven, source of all blessing, grant that the blood shed by your Son may gain an increasing number of adherents to the faith so that they may make his sacrifice fruitful for mankind. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for through the saving passion of your son the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty since by the wondrous power of the cross your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, who choose to show mercy, not anger, to those who hope in you, grant that your faithful may weep as they should for the evil they have done, and so merit the grace of your consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the Hail Mary. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, the Lord is, is with you. you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.